Hello children, I really hope you enjoyed the treasure quest and I wonder if you found some chocolate treats in your garden or maybe you did it around your house. So we're in the kitchen now and I want to share with you some lovely chocolate treats that you can make at home with your grown up. So I've actually changed the recipe because we were going to make chocolate chip cupcakes but I don't have any chocolate chips in my house so I thought what could I use that would be very similar. So I've got some giant butter leaves that I can put in so I think they'll taste better actually than chocolate chips. So join me in a minute and I'll show you how to make the cupcakes. Okay children, so here are the ingredients. We need 100 grams of self-raising flour. We need 100 grams of caster sugar, 100 grams of margarine. We need two eggs and I've got my chocolate buttons and I've got some cupcake cases to put them in when it's all mixed together and I've got my scales and my bowl and my wooden spoon so I think we are all ready to go okay I'll be back in a minute with the first part of the recipe okay children so I've got my recipe in front of me which I'll share on the website with you so you can print it out to make your very own chocolate treats and what I've done is I've put in my bowl the butter and sugar which now need to be stirred together. Okay, so next I've measured out 100 grams of flour so that's ready to go into the bowl. I'm just going to pour that in. So just a little bit at a time. Just going to pour a little bit in and mix that together and then we're going to add the eggs as well. Okay, so I've cracked both of my eggs into the bowl. I'm still adding the flour. And now we're gonna mix all of the ingredients together and we'll be ready to add our chocolate buttons. Okay, so the chocolate buttons are going in next. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So I've got some cake cases ready on baking trays. So I've got two lots of those. I've put about 16 cake cases out. So I think we're ready now. I've mixed the chocolate buttons with the mixture and we are good to go to put them in the cake cases. Okay children, so we're just about to put the last bits of mixture into the cupcake cases. I've mixed all my chocolate buttons into the mix and you might find that you'll be able to do some extras because I've got quite a lot of mixture here. So I've added a few more cases and work with your grown-up and help each other. So it's nice to have a big spoon and a little spoon to sort of scoop up the mixture and then do it together. So one of you could hold the spoon and the other one could just put the mixture into the case. I'll be back in a minute to tell you what to do next. Okay, so I have put all of the mixture into the cases and you might be allowed, if your grown-up lets you, to lick the bowl, which is one of the best parts as well of making cakes. So now we need to put our cupcakes into the oven, but you need your grown-up to do this, so please don't touch the oven at all. This is your grown-up's job. And they need to go on 180 degrees. If it's an electric oven and it's gas mark five, if it's a gas oven. So we're gonna pop those in and I'll be back in a minute to show you what they look like when they are cooked. Okay, so my chocolate button cakes are all ready. They're all cooked and ready to eat. So I would love to hear how you get on with your baking. So children, I really hope you enjoyed finding out how to make chocolate button cupcakes and talk to your grown up now about what you could make. What chocolate treats could you make in your kitchen? <laughs> so they taste and smell amazing. So we would love to hear about your chocolate creations. You can share on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and we can load them up onto our gallery on eyfshome.com. So I look forward to seeing you in the next activity.